Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're doing a abstract shape header. I hope you guys do enjoy. If you do, make sure to leave a like and a comment on what else you guys want to see. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So first things first, we need to create a new document and for a Twitter header size, we're going to need 3000 by 1000 with 300 resolution, all in pixels. So we're going to create our canvas and now we're just going to get straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our canvas black by holding alt delete with a black color picked. Next thing we want to do is go up to the adjustments up here and grab a photo filter and change it to blue and then just leave that on the settings that it has. And then you guys are going to need a logo to drag and drop. I have one already prepared and it's just there, the phase logo, you guys all know it. Um, if you want to get the exact same logo, you can go into Google, they're everywhere, there's like 700 million photos out there, you'll be able to pick get one. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to just chuck this right in the middle here. This looks about right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer. I'm going to quickly make this our logo. And now we're going to grab out a red color, not the brightest red we can get, but close to it. And we're going to grab a pen tool and we're going to simply drag it just like this. And create a big bend sort of look. Then we're going to grab a brush on zero hardness. Zero, not one and make it quite large just holding alt with your uh, right click on you can change the size of your brush like this and we're just gonna with a red brush just tap around where we just pen tooled just like that creating like a red sort of glow like this and once you guys have got this make sure that you also uh, create a new layer and hold alt and backspace to fill it completely but then we want to hide that layer and put it below and use that as our shape so we can constantly like use it as a uh, glow that we can constantly um, use as like a constant reference as the same shape so basically what we're going to do here now that we've got this hidden shape under here is we're going to hold control on the thumbnail and then it'll reselect it just like this so this is the only area that we'll be working in so we're going to create a new layer and we're going to get rid of our black brush we're going to grab out a white brush and near where the logo is we're just going to use a white brush and just lightly click around and then change it to an soft light layer makes this a white brush by the way and we're just going to do that one more time but just in a smaller area just like that perfect and now it's got like a little bit of a glow going on um, and now what we're going to do make sure our logo is there we're going to quickly grab this shape just so we can sort of see and we're just going to hold shift and pull it down see how it's moving completely down and nowhere else that's what we're after and then we're going to hold control again we can hide this layer completely now um, and we're going to grab our black brush that's the wrong brush and make sure that goes above everything else by the way just realized why that wasn't working and quickly get rid of everything we just did and just at the top with the black brush just tap it like that along here creates that nice little wave look then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our uh, shape tool over here it might be on the rectangle school you just got to click right on it and then we can get the eclipse one up we're going to hold shift to keep it nice and circly and not out of out of shape and we're going to grab a circle probably about this big and we're going to make it a bright sort of red color we'll just grab a gradient overlay and we'll do that and what we'll do actually is instead of doing that 
we will hide it just like this and then with our black brush tool just go on over it like that not too harsh but harsh enough to create an outline just like that and then what we're going to do the shape's still there it's just hidden what we're going to do is grab a white brush tool and just give it a big light glow from the bottom here and then we're going to duplicate that actually let's not do that um, and then we're going to create another layer and the same again hold control on the eclipse here and we're going to grab a red brush and we're just going to give it a little bit of a glow like that and we can just down the opacity a tiny bit and that soft light we just have we're going to drag that above so we get that nice little white glow alrighty so now we're just going to add some finer lines and details in here so here's our shape back down the bottom here we will quickly up the opacity of this so we can see it again alright so we're going to hide that again and hide it, hold control and then we've got our outlines again and this time we're actually going to grab a white brush tool and just again lightly trace around just like that and then chuck that on an overlay never mind that won't work so we'll just grab that give it a nice white tinge and then what we can do is we can go overlay on top of that now we'll just keep the white tinge alright so now what we're going to do is we're going to hold control on that shape yet again but we're going to use a very sort of in between it's uh, almost like a s s salmon sort of look salmon I don't know why I said salmon 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 pink sort of look and we're gonna go back over the area we just went over with the white getting a nice little light glow I'll put that on vivid light Now, we're going to create a new shape with the pen tool. Just like this. And we're going to hold Alt and Backspace and fill it. Doesn't matter what color you fill it with. And then what we're going to do is make that a grey sort of look. A little bit greyer than that. So we'll go with a pretty much almost black on the left. And then a little bit lighter on the right. That is good, good, good. Alrighty. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a duplicate of that shape. We're going to rasterize it really quickly, both of them. And we're going to hide this one as soon as we move it around. There we go, we'll hide that control just like before. And we're going to get another black and we're just gonna feather it around the edges like that maybe a little bit more yeah that's nice and we're gonna grab that shape again and drag it back down hide it control and now we're gonna grab our white brush really lightly 
just feather it along like this. Alrighty, and then we're going to duplicate that and put it on an overlay. Let's get that nice little glow. Now what we're going to do is grab a black brush tool and clip it back onto the original shape. And we're just going to touch the entire corner here and then just down the opacity so that's like a nice little shade in the corner there. Now what would actually look really nice is if we went back to the original red and got rid of that in the corner there but just with the erase tool so a hardness just touch up the corner there. Alrighty looking good so now with our logo what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab a black brush and we're just gonna dab the corner up here I'm going to set that to a nice low, low opacity of about 30. So we've got that little bit of a shadow coming in from here. And then we're going to go in here. We're going to go in a shadow yet again. And we're going to put that on 90 up the top here. And it'll give it that nice little inner shadow at the top. Alrighty, so we are almost done. What we're going to do now is we're going to create little uh, glows in the crevice here. And then we are pretty much done. So we'll go through the bottom here and just lightly re-pen tool. Actually, what we can do is grab our original shape, which is all the way down the bottom there. We can just drag that back up to where it was originally. There we go. And we can just do select inverse like that, hide it again. And now we can do a nice little glow that'll run along the edge of the red here just get the brush nice and small and just sort of tap around the edges like this and we'll raise it up the top there because it needs to be like a bit of a shadow oops wrong one there we go and then just down the opacity of that to about 39 which gives it that nice little bit of glow and then we'll quickly do it again, but have a little bit more glow. Forgot to do select inverse, there we go. A little bit more glow up the top here. We'll just do a small glow, just like. like that. Actually, no, we'll leave that. Looks fine just like that. Alrighty, so one more thing I want to do is run one more circle up the top here. So we'll grab our Eclipse tool again, holding shift. Make sure this is above everything. There we are put it sort of in the middle of that shape. Make sure it's below the logo though. And we're going to hide that. And then we're going to hold control just around the outside. We're just going to feather a nice sort of glow. Probably won't be able to see it that well. Yeah, we'll go with a red instead of a white. So grab our white. I mean our red, sorry. And just like this, like this, tap around the outside like that. And then create another layer, grab our white back out, and tap around the middle more. Just sort of like that, and then put that on an overlay. And then we'll make one more layer. A bit more white like that. Chuck that on screen, and then drag that below all those just down the opacity a little bit more that more to just be like a smaller glow at the top here and then we'll get the eclipse here and if we go back onto the shape tool over here we can get rid of the fill and 
we can leave it just as a stroke which will make it like a ring sort of like this and then we can just hold shift and line that back up and we want the, the stroke to probably be about I don't know five yeah that's good and then we're going to just go out of glow and keep it at normal put it to red change the size a little bit just like that and then we'll rasterize this layer and then we're just gonna go a big erase tool and just erase it on this side so that it looks like it's sort of just appearing around this side alrighty that is pretty much it all we're gonna do now is just drop a small shadow on the logo just using the multiply uh, blend style and put the angle to about 90 we'll just change the distance so it's floating a little bit off the logo and that's pretty much it guys I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and drop a comment on what else you guys want to see but it's been your boy Jordan and I'll see you guys in the next video peace and I'm out